Well, as we kick off this work week, let's give you a look from our Queen Anne Tower camera. Kind of a gloomy look at Seattle, that fog there. Let's get to meteorologist Craig Herrera. Talk about when we can get rid of that, get back into summer. Oh, wait. <laughs> Too late not coming that, back. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> that ship has sailed. We're done. <laughs> yeah, we've got some scattered showers out there. And you know what? Uh, we're going to have some more scattered showers as we go through the coming days. Greg, Joyce, good afternoon. Good everyone. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. What we expect tomorrow? A little more of the same. I'll get you started with the time lapse from one of our school net sites, uh, Shoreline. Uh, beautiful right here, right? We've got uh, Shorecrest High School, but look at all the rain. I say beautiful because I know a lot of people like the rain. I'm one of them. <laughs> get some more rain as you look at the uh, tower cam right on top of our studios in Sodo. A little bit of rain as well through the passes. Snowfall level is hovering close to 5,000 feet, so I think we're going to have mostly a rain event. Most of this rain, by the way, is right through the convergent zone. So we will continue to see more of those scattered showers a little bit down through the southwestern corner of the state. We do have some wind as well. Not strong winds, but look at Shelton. West, southwest, 24 sustained winds. Olympia, 10 mile per hour winds and 20 mile per hour winds. Whidbey Island, 23 mile per hour gust port and Shelton 31 and Tacoma 26, so it's significant, but it's not as widespread as this system is moving on out on the right side of your screen. This area of low or high pressure rather has moved down to the south. Having done so, a lot of the moisture is coming up and over and redirected our way, so we'll get some spotty showers tomorrow, and then we'll get a few more showers after that, and then we're going to be cold for the, rem the remainder of the week. So tonight, a few more showers, especially through the convergence zone. Seattle to Everett. A couple of showers from, say, Muckleteo to Bellingham, Blaine. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, a few scattered showers, and then by noon, not a whole lot. Not everybody getting it. So you can see it's kind of like today. 5 p.m. for the commute home. A lot of you will get some of the showers, mainly to the north. And then by 11 p.m., you've got a few more showers. Look at the snow way up in the higher elevations above, say, 4,500 feet tomorrow. Now, as we go through Wednesday, 7.30, you've got a few more scattered showers again. So we're going to do this for a couple of days before we start to get a bit of a break. We are going to get some sunshine, but it is going to be cold. Now, rainfall totals through the end of the day tomorrow, less than a tenth of inch, an inch of rain. And tonight we'll start uh, tomorrow morning with some mid 40s. So a chilly start to the day tomorrow. Your highs tomorrow back into the mid 50s and average for this time of year is right about 58 degrees or so. So pretty chilly. By the way, for the mountains tomorrow, some fog to start the day. Scattered showers tomorrow. Snow levels at 4,500 feet tomorrow. So maybe a little bit of snow across the North Cascades Highway, but not real bad. And as we go through the week ahead, sun breaks and showers for a few days through Wednesday. Thursday, sunshine, but chilly. Temperatures 51 degrees. Look at Friday. It's going to be rainy and breezy with temperatures in the 40s. Greg and Joyce this weekend, sunshine, but look at those highs. 40s, mid 40s at that. I'll send it back to you. It's really cooling down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quickly.